In this program, we'll give you an overview of the new 300CE Cabriolet. For the 1993 model year, Mercedes-Benz is once again offering a four-seat convertible. The new 300CE Cabriolet is based on the 300CE Coupe and revives a Mercedes-Benz tradition of pairing an exclusive convertible model with a coupe. The torsional flex and vibration usually associated with the lack of a fixed roof structure have been minimized by engineering several modifications into the body shell. Increased sheet metal thicknesses and additional reinforcements can be found on the longitudinal rails and front wall. In the A-pillars and the windshield frame, which is engineered to distribute impact forces in the event of a frontal or side impact. A die-cast aluminum strut is bolted between the instrument panel crossmember and the transmission tunnel. Additional reinforcement has been provided to the footwells, the B pillar bases, the rear tunnel area, and the rear seat crossmember. The rectangular steel box behind the rear seats that houses the soft top assembly has load-bearing sidewalls that provide transverse stiffening. Diagonal braces underneath the frame floor keep flex to a minimum. Multiple hinges are used to prevent contact between the trunk lid and the soft top compartment cover. In addition to reinforcing the body shell, Mercedes-Benz engineers developed inertia weight dampers that are attached to components that are subject to vibration. The movement of the damper counteracts the vibration and thus cancels it out. With the help of computer modeling, the engineers were able to pinpoint the locations of the greatest structural vibration. Dampers are located on the left front shock absorber dome, in the roof frame, and in the trunk well. Similar to the R129, the 300CE Cabriolet is equipped with an integrated roll bar that provides protection in the event of a rollover. However, unlike the R129, the roll bar in the Cabriolet does not pivot, but instead operates in a linear motion, popping straight up when needed. In a critical situation, the roll bar is raised into position by spring pressure within three tenths of a second. The bar can only be retracted after spring deployment if the operating switch is held down in the up position until the hydraulic unit lock engages audibly. In order to ensure reliable deployment, a synchronizer shaft prevents the bar from becoming skewed. Two pinions connected to the synchronizer shaft engage racks in both ends of the roll bar tube. The tube itself is located by rollers within the bar frame. The triggering criteria such as vehicle inclination, lateral acceleration, and deceleration are the same as for the R129. The status of the roll bar system is indicated by a control light. The light comes on when you switch the ignition on and goes out after you start the engine. If you get any other indication, the automatic functioning may be impaired and the roll bar should be raised manually until the system can be checked out. With the top up or down, the roll bar can be raised or lowered by either the front or rear rocker switch. The rear switch can be locked out with the child safety switch. For safety reasons, the roll bar should always be fully extended when the rear seats are occupied. If the roll bar is not raised or retracted completely, warning lights will blink in the switches in order to alert you. In comparison to the R129, you'll notice quite a few differences with the convertible top on the 300CE Cabriolet. You'll find a heated rear window of safety glass a 20 millimeters thick layer of insulation, a three section soft top frame, and a complete interior headliner.
A system of straps connects the frame sections and determines the position of the rear window. In order to accommodate the rigid rear window in the soft top compartment, the rear area of the soft top cover has stitched in pockets. New one-piece ceiling sections are used in the roof frame and the soft top frame. An integrated channel drains water away along the A pillar via hollow ducts. A hematite colored anodized strip on the soft top compartment lid serves as a mounting for the rear soft top seal. To operate the hydraulic top mechanism, you must first open the two front latches. The operating switch for the soft top has a similar function to the one in the R129. Eleven cylinders are pressurized hydraulically by the roll bar hydraulic unit. Two cylinders are used for top operation, two for the soft top retention bar, two for the soft top compartment, as well as one cylinder each to operate the locks on the retention bar and compartment lid. The remaining three cylinders are used for the roll bar. The entire process is monitored by 12 limit switches and controlled by nine magnetic valves. The soft top control unit is located under the right rear seat. The locks on the soft top compartment lid and the retention bar are operated hydraulically. The soft top control unit controls both locks. If the locks have not been engaged correctly, the control light won't go out after you start the engine. And when you drive off, the light will blink and you'll hear a warning gong. The warning gong will also sound if the front latches are locked and the soft top operating switch is pushed with the soft top closed. Compared to the permanently stitched in type, the safety glass used for the rear window simplifies replacement. The replacement glass comes from the factory with a bonded frame. The ceiling section on the flange surface must always be replaced when installing a new window. In the rear window area, the inner lining is attached with Velcro. You'll find the connectors for the heated rear window under the flap. We're always interested in hearing from the viewers of these Education for Excellence programs. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please fax or call us.